Hello everybody, I'm the Flaming Witch, but you can call me Flame, and welcome right back to exactly where we left off in Purgatory. Not even really going to say anything, we're just going to jump right back into it. We call the devil, so let's see what he has to say. Bam! Did someone call? Huh? What did you think? Was that pretty good entrance or what? Wait, who are you? Um, I'm Lucifer. Da. The de 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 deceiver of the world, the angel of habis, etc. Lucifer? What did you do to the cat? I didn't do anything to the cat, you need. I am the cat. And I was having a perfectly bombing time too until someone very rudely called my number. Oh, sorry. No worries, my dear subject. It's all forgiven. Anyway, let's get down to business. This place is over capacity, so I need to get around to fixing that anyway. Lucifer stops his fingers. Ah! So that's why you should never so that's why you should never put soap in here. What just happened? Excuse me, who are you and what the hell is going on? Hang on, hang on. I know you're all fiend lying a little stretch, but there's no need to throw a hissy fit. I'm Lucifer, ruler of hell, and I'm here with a uh, fortunate muse. At least one of you is getting me out of this place for forever. Any questions? I don't think I, I don't think I like puns anymore. Wait, if you're really here to let us go, then I certainly won't be the first to complain, but why now? After all this time? Well, it's pretty simple, actually. The maximum uh, 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 occupancy of this place is seven. A flame here makes eight. Really? That's it? Yeah. Meow jin. Meow jin. Really? Ugh, God damn it. Management. But with meow. Really gets in our case if you go over. Plus, I wanted to see the look on your face when I went poof out of nowhere. Hmm? I have a question. You said at least one of us will get to leave. But how will we, you decide which one? Well, it's simple. I'll evaluate your souls and decide which ones are worthy of cats sending to heaven. Well, I guess I'm out then. Have fun in heaven, guys. Spare a thought to poor old Sean every now and then. Wait, wait, wait. So you're just going to leave the rest of us here to rot? Yep. It's a real win-lose situation. Pardon? Some of you will win. Some of you lose. Win-lose. It's business talk. You probably wouldn't have heard of it. But we've been waiting for so long. You can't just leave us here forever. Sure I can. I'm evil. I can do what I want. Wait, bam! What? Why did he turn the lamp into a frog? Just turn the lamp into a frog. That's evil as fuck. It's really not. Anyway, let's get on with this already. I'll call you into the library one by one and we can have a little chat. In the meanwhile, the rest of you can wait here. Sound good? Wait, sorry. Did you say your library? I thought it was my... I mean, not to be presumptuous. I've been doing a lot of work. It, it just seemed like the library wasn't being properly maintained, so I... That is, given the state of disrepair. Oh, you cute little thing. It's mine. Elijah, you're up first, big boy. Huh. Why me? First to arrive, first to leave. It's only fair. Don't be scared. I don't nip. Oh, all right. Elijah nervously follows Lucifer into the library. But I did so much dusting. Uh, this isn't good. Hey, Gyogenson. Do you think you'll get out? Meh. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Hey, Numa. Hey, Numa. Oh, hello. What a funny situation we're in, huh? <laughs> so funny. Ha ha ha. Um, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Why wouldn't I be fine? I'm just teensy is a bit anxious. I don't know why. It's not that big a deal. It's just like a job interview. Except it's like I forgot to prepare. And also, if I don't pass, then I burn in hell. Ha <laughs> ha It's okay. I promise. You're so, you're, so, you're so nice. There's no way you won't go to heaven. I don't know. What about all my all my pit fish that died? And what about the time I pretended to have a broken leg so I didn't have to go to my friend Kate's birthday party? Or the time I got, I got really mad at a guy who was trying to hit, me, hit on me at the mall and whacked him with the tray? Trying to do what? I forget I said anything. Every door burst open and Lucifer starts sliding out. Mothballs, you're up next. Oh, is that me? Awesome. So, Lucy Boy, before we get started. First of all, it's not Lucy Boy, it's Lucifer. Okay, Lucifer. It's Mr. Lucifer to you. Okay, Mr. Lucifer. Just wanted to ask why am I down here in the first place. I'm afraid that's con for a dental, my girl. Oh, man. So, because I'm left handed. What? What does that have anything to do with it? They used to beat you for being left handed because they thought it was satanic, you know. Wait, really? Hey, don't look at me like that. I don't have any control over what people do in my name. And besides, I'm cat business. <laughs> Come on now, we have work to do. But Lucifer disappears into the library with Natalie trailing behind. I don't like Lucifer very much. Yeah, he's kind of a jerk, right? Can you believe he called me a cute little thing? You are, though. Hey, that's not the point. He's right, though. Ah. Hey, Flame. Great timing. I just finished up drawing battle plans. Sorry, the battle plans? Yes. Do you care to elaborate? No time. Hey, folks. We need to have a meeting. Get over here. 
Oh boy, here we go again. This is important. What is it, boss? What is it? What is it about our very fates hanging over our bounds? Our fleeting afterlives dangling over the pit of despair? Sorry, could you run that by me again? What I'm saying is we can't just let Lucifer walk all over us. More than ever, we need a plan. There's eight of us and one of him. If we're together, then we can take him out. Now are you a mouse or now are you a mouse or a man? Ah. Hell yeah, let's just jump in. I'm in. I'll hold a scrawny one arms here and just pack where you punch him. Deal. Wait, wait. Doesn't he have magic powers? Um, sure. He can turn into a cat. What if he just wiggles out of her grasp? Oh, I don't think he, I could hurt a cat. He provokes his head of the library. Hello, children. Just a friendly reminder that formatting revolutionaries strictly against company policy and could get you a very long stint to the fourth circle of hell. Mom, what, what is the fourth circle of hell? But the better question is, what does it smell like? Yeah, not so eager now, huh? Now, where was I? Well, meeting adjourned. Yes, I suppose. I didn't even get to use my diagrams. Maybe you should just go along with what he says for now. I don't want you to be turned into a frog or anything. Your concern is surely noted. Oliver, get in here. It's time for a little cat and mouse game, if you know what I mean. Alright, here goes nothing. Got this. Thanks. I hope I do. No big deal. It's just the most important interview of my life. Or death. <laughs> yes, or death. What's taking so long? Get in here, mousy boy. Oh, coming. So do you think Lucifer will pick you to leave? Uh, probably not, if I'm being honest. Me neither. I don't know, bro. I'm just a snurson. What? A snurson. Trying to leave his best snafe. Sean, you always say that when you're avoiding a question. Me? It's avoiding a question? I was never. Oh, I get it now. Like a snake person. Sniss. Sni. <laughs> so listen, I've been working on theory. And this might come crazy, but if purgatory is cat heaven? You mean like heaven for cats? Yeah, like cat heaven. Hmm. That would explain all the catnip and milk and stuff. And the cat bed. But if purgatory is cat heaven, then where are all the cats? Hmm, that's a good point. And why put people in it? Why not build a separate purgatory for people? A personatory, if you will. A personatory. Yes, you need something? Oh, sorry, me and Flame were discussing the nature of purgatory. Personatory, you mean. Huh. Maybe the real pur purgatory. Oops. Maybe the real purgatory is the friends we made along the way. Ah, that's so sweet. Wait. Wait, what if, what if this is like a, the good place situation where they're not actually in purgatory, they're actually in hell? That's why Lucifer is on speed dial. Wait. Kyogen's on your turn. Hey, what did I see there? No. What do you mean, no? I didn't see what you did. Could you do that again? Kyogen, soon. I'll see you soon. It's a play on words. Sorry, I don't get it. Just get in the library. Asshole. What did Lucifer ask? Oh, he just asked me questions about my life. I thought it would be something like how many kinds of kindness did you do, but nah. He asked me what my favorite kind of cereal. Huh. What is your favorite kind of cereal? Honey, which is the votes, of course. Maybe he's planning a surprise cereal party? Where he makes everyone their favorite cereal to muck up for being stuck here so long? Honestly, it might be worth it. It might be worth it for a nice bowl of Lucky Charms. Oh god, without some marshmallows? Are you kidding? Marshmallows only. Yes. Marshmallows. Sean Dabs. Okay, so I spoke with everyone. I, so I spoke with everyone. What if I... Lose... Fur... Three hundred thousand years. Thank you for your patience. Hang up. Yeah, that's fair. Man bleeding. I hope this doesn't sound rude, but I really don't trust the cat man to properly care for those flowers. Wait, what was the garden like before you got here? Oh, it was horrible. Tools mislabeled, weeds everywhere, even two plants growing in the same pot. Those roots were 12 to 18 inches. Don't need 12 to 18 inches of room to grow. They'll be susceptible to fungus and rot. Oh wow, sounds like it was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. Except the catnip. The catnip pretty much was pretty much in perfect shape all the time. Huh. Wonder why. It's your turn. I didn't realize it was my turn next. Oh, what do I do? You chill. It'll become. It's not. I'm going to bring everything like I always do. Except this time it's in my life's online. It'll be fine, babe. You didn't even ask me any hard questions. But I didn't prepare at all. But I didn't prepare at all. What if I don't know any of the answers? What if I flunk? Is it even possible to flunk? Hey. Want to run together? What, really? You think you're allowed? Why not? I mean, that would really help. Yes, please. No, I know you're a little slow, but we don't have all day. Rude. Okay, we're going in. 
Do, do you think bees eat their own honey? Uh, yes? Why do they make honey and then just not eat it? I don't know, maybe they use it for something else. Like what? Putting beehives? No, no, you have it all wrong. That's what bees are for. Oh yeah, wait. So do bees make both honey and wax? Yeah, I guess. Then what is nectar? Oh jeez, I don't know. Why is this a question you're asking me anyway? I don't know, it's been bugging me. Oh, so you're just being curious. Yeah, I just want to know. Also, humor is my coping mechanism in stressful situations. Oh. Hey, watch out. Ah, what is it? Nothing. Just keeping you on your toes. It's crucial that we stay alert right now. Anything can happen and we need to be prepared. Oh. Jeez, okay. Sorry, sorry to interrupt, but I was wondering. Oliver, behind you. Ha, ha. Hit the deck. Could be a hit at any moment. <laughs> That's so rude. Alright, Featherweight, you're up. Ahem. Sorry, Pat. Nice pleasure to meet you. Yes, I know your name. Just because I called you a Featherweight doesn't mean I forgot. You have a quick quit. I can appreciate that. I'm looking forward to reaching a mutual beneficial agreement with you. Geez, suddenly I feel undressed. Just getting here already. A pleasure. Good job making it through the interview. Oh, I barely did. I felt like I was about to... I felt like I was about to break down her name moment, even with... This is not supposed to be me. Oh, I'm sorry. And then he acted like it was funny the whole time. I didn't want to say this, but I think Lucifer is, is a very rude person. There, I said it. Yeah, he is. And he made some extremely questionable architectural decisions when he designed this place. It's not even wheelchair. It's not even wheelchair. Wheelchair acceptable. And and and, his trident looks really dumb. Oh no, I might be going a little too far. Oh really? No, I'm just kidding. Your trident looks stupid as shit. Exactly. This whole de delivering judge. The whole delivering judgment thing doesn't seem to be bothering you much. Eh. And I said to do about it. I guess that's true. But you're not nervous or anything. I'm actually a robot. I don't feel emotions. Oh. Oh wow. I've never met a real-life robot before. Beep boop. And Kyogun Senbot initiating sequel sequence. Huh? Oh no, ah! <laughs> mm, negative beep. <laughs> okay, Sean, you're up. Alright, let's do this. Do not call me Lucy Boy. Okay, we'll still have pet names for when we get to know each other a little better. What? You? What? Are you flirting with the devil? All I'm saying is... I always wonder why hell is hot. Now I understand why. God damn it, Sean. Just hurry up and get in there. We have a lot to discuss. In private. Nah, I don't mind if I do. You know you're just no you know, just waiting for Lucifer to deliver judgment upon me. Huh, same here. I just did a lot of things I could either. Mostly just slept a lot. There's nothing wrong with that. Guess. In fact, maybe take a nap with ease for your nerves. Nah man. I'm way too amped up to sleep right now. But yeah, guess it makes sense. Appreciate it though. You know, I never did find out with uh, uh I don't You mean relating to the projection in the mouth of snails and other mollusks that support Redalia? Huh? I thought everyone knew that. Wait, what's Redalia? Oh, um, it's like tiny snakes for snail. They use them to get food off the of surfaces. That's freaky. Yeah, now how much I feel when I kept kissed her. <laughs> Kirkinson. Ahem, uh, flame. Okay. I'm s- Ah! Hello, devil. Enter the library. Oh! The thing is around him. You enter the library and find Lucifer sitting at the table. Well, well, well. Look at the track dragged in. Do your worst, Lucifer. I'm ready for anything. Ready to, ready to go, huh? <laughs> Good, because we have a lot of paperwork to get through. This rope pulls out a forward out of nowhere. Well, let's take a look at your file. Do you want to start with the good news or the bad news? Bad news. Let's see. Ah, littering. Tisk tisk. What? When? Tuesday, June 13th, 2017. Oh yeah, that doesn't look good on your record at all. Beelzebub's gonna have a field day with this one. Beelzebub? Is littering that bad? No, I'm just messing with you. Huh, crack myself up sometimes. Can I look at it? No, you wouldn't want to see it. Lots of legalists. So I could walk you through it, but that's way above my pay grade. Above your pay grade? Aren't you supposed to be a ruler? Hey, who's the one interviewing you here? Listen, bud, I don't know how to tell you this, but you're probably not getting out of here. Oh, why not? Well, sorry to break it to you, but you're still kitten. An F fight. A blank state. Wet behind the ears. Fresh out of the oven. You getting my drifts? You need to do your due time in purgatory before I can even consider moving you on. Ah, uh, I see. Is there anything I can do to change your mind, or...? No, oh, bless your whiskers. Didn't your memories get knocked out of your silly little head on the way here? How are you supposed to move on in the afterlife when you can't remember your life before life? Wait, I can remember some of it. Yeah, I've been having these flashbacks? I think I'm starting to fill in some of the gaps, though I'm still not totally sure why I'm here. I mean, I'm not sure why any of us are here, but I think I'm starting to have an idea. Well, spit it out already. What can you tell me about your life? My favorite food is french fries? Fascinating. 
Thank you for the essential insight into your life story. Just thought I'd mention it. I remember that I was always there for my friends. I don't know how much that matters as far as saving my soul or whatever, but it's just one of the things that, I, that in life I took pride in. I think my proudest moment was when I set the world record in a video game, though. Amazing. You really are accomplished, aren't you? I mean, I thought it was pretty great at the time. I remember where I grew up. I can still hear the streets like it was yesterday. Oh, oh, yeah, and my favorite place was this bookstore. Oh, spare me nostalgia. After the first couple thousand damn souls, it gets old. Oh, sorry. Uh, I remember this one person really well. A character from the TV show I liked. I guess they were really brave and I wished to be like that too, you know? Hmm, can't relate. I'm not- I'm the most brave person I know. Well, that's nice. Oh, water. Who? You were my partner. They always like sleeping in a warm Sunday afternoon. Catching. Yeah. I hope they're okay. I'd worry about your own situation first if I were you, bub. Right, right. I remember what I really wanted more than anything else. Friendship. I think it was friendship. Not like it where you are now, but you're proud of yourself. Thanks. No, that was... Never mind. Go on. I always remembered I wanted to live in a cottage in the woods. Oh man, that would have been great. But a lot of stuff I didn't do, actually. Could have at least said goodbye to my friends. Shame. Um, well, I think that's all I can remember right now. Hmm. Well, certainly a curious little nugget, aren't you? Me? Why? Been busy since we got here, huh, not Munchkin? Busy? Busy doing what? Why don't you tell me, Fairball? Tell you what? Listen here, kid. You've only been down here a couple days at most, and you've achieved more than they have in years. Oh, you should have heard the others. They couldn't shut up about you. Flame this, flame that. Honestly, after hearing all of them, I was expecting you to be a little more interesting. And now I found out that you're already back on track with your memories. That's impressive, I'll admit. Oh, I see. Does that mean you're changing your mind? Well, no. As, a turning, as entertaining as that was, I'm afraid rules are rules. I can't let you out until you've done your time in purgatory. Them's the breaks. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I think we're done here. Let me just grab my stuff and we can- Wait, wait, wait! There's one question I've been dying to ask. Well, what is it? Why is there no down escalator? Why does everything only go to one floor? Why is there train track but no- Why is there a train track but no train? Oh, well, that's simple. I didn't want your conversation to be derailed. Scurrying along, now it's time for the big announcement. Ooh, this is always the most exciting part. You yourself be herded back into the commons. The conversation dies as soon as you emerge. Times and queens, friends and foe, the interviews are over. Finally, you've reached the denouement mao of your journey. The apogee, the... I'm not reading all that. I'm not reading these puns anymore. It is my most delivered, the verdict. And my digress. The magnum opus. My... Oh my god, just get on with it. Hmm. No preaching from dramatic effector on here. But fine, I'll get on with it. Without further ado, your muse isn't a desert heaven. Oh shoot, my show is untied. Eh, I haven't. Hey, you're doing it on purpose. Doing what on purpose? That. Be worse, Lucifer. We've waited year for years. We can wait a few more minutes. Yeah, what he said. Oh fine, I'll stop drawing it out. So fun when you start when you start getting value in about it. Ahem. I'm proud to announce your new citizen of heaven. Oliver. Jogenson. Numa, Elijah, Sean, Tori, Natalie, and that's all. Oh, thank God. Say that again. <laughs> so it was really that easy all along. Elijah, we did it! Elijah, we're getting out of here! Woo, pearly gates, here we come! I, I can't believe it. We're really going to heaven. <laughs> we did it! Numa, are you okay? We're, we're going to heaven. Yep. We're going to heaven together! Yep. Oh my gosh! Numa, Numa hugs Hugenson. I can't believe it! We're going to heaven! This is amazing! <laughs> yeah, it's pretty great. Alright, alright. That was all very tear-jerking and entertaining, but wrap it up, folks. But we, we have some new angels to stare in. Wait, but what about Flame? Huh? What about me? Well, unless I mis misheard someone. You're the only one whose name Lucifer didn't call. Oh, is that so? Oh, is that so? Well, that's really quite unfortunate for you, isn't it? Anyway, if you all follow me to the antechamber. Wait, wait, wait. We can't just leave Flame behind. Oh, you can, and you will. Oops. Funny how that worked out. But I'll be stuck all alone, right? Come on, Lucifer, maybe we can talk this out. Purgatory is bad enough when there were seven of us. Yeah, what he said. Children, children. I reviewed the documents, and the bottom line is he hasn't heard his passage. Surely you must be mistaken. I mean, I don't think Flame has a malicious bone in his body. Results are results, my dear girl. Look on the bright side. Maybe you can try again in a few centuries. Sorry, centuries? Lucifer, with all due respect, don't you think that's a little... What I think is you're getting, you're forgetting who's the prince of hell here. Just be grateful that you end up here and not somewhere much, much worse. I mean, you don't think that you're the only eight souls in the afterlife, do you? Consider yourself lucky that your greatest grievance is a shortage of orange soda. 
Well, that's if that's settled, then you will all kindly follow me to the empty chamber. No. Huh? What do you mean no? I mean we're not going. Not without flame. Neither is Kyogen son. It what? Well, the thing is, flame is the only reason you're letting me go to heaven in the first place. He's the only one that tried to get me to open up and conquer my fear of rejection, even if he knew how weird I was. Without him, Kyogen son and I would have never talked to each other. So, so if anyone gets to leave, it should be him. I appreciate Numa, but you should just go. I'm sure I can figure things out here. No, I've had enough of being pushed around. I don't want to go to heaven if you can't come with us. I can't believe it. You actually want to turn down eternal paradise. Kogan son, I don't suppose so you're on board of this plan. Um, well, Numa, it's heaven. I guess you can go if you want, but I would really like it if you stayed. Okay, no say. Oh my Satan! You two are possibly the dumbest souls I've ever met in my deluded curse of the long life. But fine. If you want to stay, then stay. Snow fur off my back. Will the rest of you come with me? I I'm staying too. Oh, for Antichrist's sake. Flame, you know that you know better than anyone. You know I've been selfish before. I built myself I built myself before my family and my friends. But I'm not going to make any more decisions I regret. You're my friend, and I'm going to stick by your side. Besides, I have a lot of cataloging to catch up on. Great, fine, sure. Who else wants to stay? Me. Flame was always there when I needed it. Gonna be there when he needs it too. Me too. Flame got me out of my funk and helped me uh, and helped me start being creative again. He deserves this more than anyone. Eh, heaven's probably pr full of prudes anyway. Great, fantastic. Who's even left? Tori? I have to agree with Lucifer on this one. You're nothing short of a bunch of idiots. Thank you. But like it or not, you're my idiots. Well, we all go or none of us go. Oh, guys. I don't know what to say. Ugh. Don't any of you nitwits understand? Purgatory's overcapacity. One of you has to leave. I don't even care which one of you it is, as long as it's one of you. Then just let all of us leave. No, Flame hasn't done this time. Well, then it seems we're at an impasse. Aren't you the ruler of hell or something? Can't you bend the rules a little? Yeah, well, maybe ruler of hell was a bit of a hyperbole. It's more like senior soul accommodation manager of hell. But purgatory is my domain. And there's a cat in sh and there's a cat's chance in hell I'll let you leave before you do your time. But why does that matter so much to you? That's none of your cat damn business. I'm the one in charge here, so I can do what I want. Hmm, then you understand. Understand what? You just want to feel like you're in control, in control, don't you? You need everything to go the way you planned it, and you're snapping at anyone who breaks the rules. Oh, you think this is some all some sort of power trip? You think I'd be running around as a kitty cat if I wanted to crush you under an iron paw? Oh, good point. Well, maybe... You just wanted to do a good job. I mean, you seem like an ambitious person, and the afterlife must be a hellish work environment. So you hold yourself to high standards? <sighs> yeah, right. If I had this job for a millennia, and I ain't about to lose it anytime soon. Do you want me to stay beca here because you're proud of what you made? I mean, all things considered, Purgatory is an impressive place. Maybe you just want someone to appreciate your accomplishments. I couldn't care less about this garbage heat. It's any military accessible, for God's sake. Oh, right. I don't know. Those are all my ideas. Huh. You thought you could probe my the mind of the devil himself? You might be able to befriend the bedraggled be be lemmings that washed up in this place, but here in Colonation... Here my inclinations are far beyond your understanding. Only I to conjure you who, sits, who stays and who leaves, and that's final. Now, you will you motley lot go to heaven already, or do you do you have any more absurd speculations about my motives? You're lonely. I, you, what? You want Flame to stay because you're lonely. I mean, pfft, yeah, okay, yeah. That's even more ridiculous than what Flame said. Like, guys, are you hearing this? I'm not the only one hearing this, right? I mean, I'm literally Lucifer. I'm evil inclinate. Do you think I get lonely? Yes. No, I don't. I'm not lonely. Man, I've been sitting in this room with you for years. I know what you're like. You get pouty if we go too long without scratching your ears. Hey! One time I left you alone in the comments for like an hour, and by the time I got back, you had torn down Elijah's poster, knocked over a chair, and peed in the corner. Then you wouldn't stop meowing at me until I patted you like a bongo. Oh, Lucifer, I didn't know. Oh, don't you- oh, Lucifer, me. Listen here, you little muppet. Do you think I'm- do you think being stuck here for years is bad? I've been managing this goddamn facility for millennia. I have no idea how many souls have passed through purgatory without so much as batting an eye at me. It's like, oh, hi, Lucifer. Oh, bye, Lucifer. We're going to go have a great time in heaven now, but you're not invited. So sue me for delaying the process a little bit. Uh, I would have let you go, you know. All of you. Flame too. After a few years at most, maybe a few decades. That's, not, that's nothing in, time, in the time scale of the afterlife. But no, you have to use the power of friendship to ruin everything. Hmm. Lucifer crosses his arms and turns away, refusing to meet your gaze. 
I'm so sorry, Lucifer. I didn't know. I mean, none of us knew. But I think if I can, if I, if anyone can understand what it's like to be trapped and alone, well, it's us. I'm sure, lots of people would be friends with you. You're a little less uh, overbearing, megalomaniacal, mean. Well, you know, maybe if you were kinder to the people who ended up who end up here, they'd be more inclined to like you back. I don't need advice from your mortal. Well, that's what worked for me. You know what? I know what's wrong. And I've got the perfect idea to salvage this situation. Yes? Oh, yes. Only the brilliant mind of Lizard could come up with this. Yes? I'll let you all go to heaven. What? But that's what we were... Shit, let's just let him have this. Clearly, this place needs hiding up. My good lord, look at the number of cobwebs in this place. And the tally marks all over the walls. Yes, that's just depressing. No wonder you're so goddamn low in this place. I'll need a full deep cleaning. She'll call an electrician, too. Not to mention, can I get some goddamn wallpaper around here? Oh yeah, some wallpaper will really bite up the place. Well, that settles it. I need this place vacated ASAP so I can call in the cleaners. That means you too, Flame. What do you think about that? Me? Well, I think that's... Psych! I'm the devil. I don't give a shit what you think. You're going to heaven whether you like it or not. <laughs> uh, okay. To the antechamber. Um... My word, how did it get the ceiling to get like this? Now that's a safety hazard. I need to get this fixed ASAP. There were kids who stopped in the room where he started. And here we are. Whoa, portal. Yes, yes, now scurry along, though. I have a lot of work to do. Wait, we just go through here? And we end up in heaven? Correct, my dear sinner. Now who's going first? Anyone? They didn't need to tell me twice. Cowbunger. Eh, right behind you, buddy. One by one, the others then through the portal. Finally, you're left alone with Lucifer. Um, Lucifer? Yes, fine. Thank you. I hope you'll be okay down- Oh, stop with your stupid bleeding heart! I'm letting you off the hook. Go before I change my mind. Sorry, sorry. Step into the portal. Wow. Wow. Fountain. Not milk this time. A bench. Wow. So this is heaven. Oh! Oh, there's a path. What's up? We're in heaven. Sure are. Think they have any good Korean food here? Oh, yeah. Probably the best. Good. Go get them, look at this! Oh, cool. Leaves. They have an edible garden, and there's a sign that says you can take all you want. Hold on, is that? <gasps> no drops of actual in the other direction. It's an edible garden. Oh. Is this like a garden that's edible? Oh. I never would have guessed. It was air fl voice floats in the air. Ah, they have Swiss chard. Swiss what? Swiss chard. Kilgenson, flame. Do you want some? I'm good. No thanks. <laughs> You're really missing out. Okay, I'll have one. If you're excited about a leaf, then it must be pretty good. Yay! Flame. This place is amazing. Ah, it's so green and lush and vibrant. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. And this is just the entry hall too. Wait, really? Yeah, I think the gate to the he I think the gate to heaven proper is up ahead. But I feel like it's been a lifetime right here and then some. Did you ever find any pH strips? Funny you should mention that, because as a matter of fact, two thistles are cover strips from her pocket. Yes, I did! Birds. Guess they're just winging it. A big old building. Yo, Flame, look! They have coloring books! No way! Natalie holds up a picture of a dog colored like a rainbow. Yes, way! And it rules! Want a sheet? Maybe later. Did you want to, like, explore heaven? Well, I'll get around to it. Take my time, you know. Heaven's not going anywhere. True. True. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to color this drop. Draco powder. You know, like it. <laughs> like dragon vampire? Oh. Flame! This like Flame! This library is amazing. It's much cozier than the one back into Purgatory, don't you think? Oh, yeah, way better. No offense. Then taken. You know, in a way, it's sort of bittersweet. I never did figure out my the mystery of the meows, and I never, now I never will. But, you know what? Yes. I never even care that much. Oh, good. Yeah. There are much better things in store for all of us. Yeah, that's the spirit. <laughs> it's hard not to be guilty over when you're in heaven. By the way, you ever run across a Laura Catherine Mousley or an Andrew Mousley? Will you let them know I'm doing okay? Of course. Thank you. Cheers. Just for guides on it. I'm serious white box. A nice painting. Oh, hey, Flame. Hey, yeah. Uh, Ain't this a beautiful view? You said it. Man, feels like a weight's been lifted from my shoulders, you know? It's like I'm sitting on a cloud. And not just because this bridge is literally supported by clouds. <laughs> I know what you mean. Do you think your friends back home would be proud of you? Oh, those folks. 
Uh, they're probably too busy living their lives to worry about little old me doing med school or selling heirlooms or whatever up there down to they're up to nowadays. So, getting to heaven, it's something. Oh, yeah, it's something, all right. Hmm. Could even write a poem about it. Could you believe it, dude? We're really here. Yeah, that's right. Sean the Snake finally made it to heaven. Take that, Joe Whitaker. Wait, who's Joe Whitaker? Oh, it's a long story. Actually, it's a pretty short story now that I think about it. But I don't really want to talk about it. Actually, I actually do want to talk about it. He's a street preacher who used to preach outside of the record store I worked at. And he was always like, oh, you're going to hell for having homosexual relations. Oh, I'm a big jerk idiot. Well, guess what? I'm in heaven now. He sure showed him. Yeah, sure freaking did. Hi, Tori. Hey, partner. Gates up ahead, if that's what you're looking for. Now, I just wanted to ask how you're... Wait, let me guess. You're going around checking up on everyone and seeing how they're doing. Uh, yes? Huh. Seems to be your M.O. Now, let me ask you this. How are you doing? Um... I'm sad that... This is going to sound kind of weird, but I'm sort of sad that it's over. I know Purgatory sucked, but it's also way cozy in here. Oh, it was cozy in a way. Don't fret too much. I have a feeling it's just beginning. Not to be cliche or anything. Personally, I wanted to head through the gate right away, but everyone else seemed to be taking their time. So I'm taking a moment to relax as well. It seemed pretty tense for someone who's said to be relaxing. Well, of course. What if I need to defend myself from a crowd of detectors that I'm on No. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I'm just charging you. Take care, friend. I was lucky to have an angel like you. Aw, thanks. Take care, too. I'll try. Ready to go in? Yes. Wow! That... Uh. Wow, okay. Well, that was the ending of Purgatory. I hope you enjoyed the videos that I made on it. And if you want to see more of my content, hit the subscribe button. And I would love to hear all of your thoughts on that ending. Anyway, I will see you all in the next video. Bye-bye, everyone!